Jackie here. I'm the manager of therapeutic programming for AFA, and it's my pleasure to introduce Jay Lan, an award-winning Chinese brush painter. In today's class, we will be learning a little bit about Chinese brush painting and focusing on the plum blossom. So grab your paintbrush, your paper, and some watercolors, and let's do a little bit of Chinese brush painting. Today we're going to try to paint some cherry blossoms. I have printed out some photographs to share with you. Hopefully after you see these photographs, you'll be more inspired. This picture shows the flowers of cherry blossoms. They're mostly pink in color. Some of them are multi-layered. Some of them are single layered. Now this photograph shows more details of the flowers. I have also printed out some photographs of DC where you can find beautiful cherry blossoms around this time. Here's another one. And if you don't mind traveling further away virtually, we can try to go to Japan. This is Mount Fuji. And here's an, another photograph of Mount Fuji. And this one, there is a nice temple here, Mount Fuji in the background. And the foreground, you can see some cherry blossoms. They make a very nice composition. So, after you take a look at these photographs, I hope you're more inspired now. And let's try to paint some cherry blossoms. First, I'm gonna talk about material used. Traditionally, Asian brush painter paint on rice paper or schwann paper, which is a very thin sheet of paper made of bark and straw. Now, I understand you might not have rice paper at home, Please don't go out and buy it. Stay home and be safe. We can make good use of any paper that you have at home. For the brushes, if you have Asian bamboo brush at home, that would be great. If not, we can make good use of any brushes you have at home, such as watercolor brushes. You will also need a color palette to hold the color. If you don't have this, it's okay. You can just use a regular plate that you use for the kitchen. You will need watercolor. Any watercolor you have at home will be okay. And if you have ink, that would be great. If not, we can just use black watercolor that you have at home. Even though I cannot be physically outside to look at these beautiful cherry blossoms, I decided to make good use of the photographs that I found on the internet to do my painting. I'm very inspired by this photograph which has the Washington Monument in the background and cherry blossoms in the foreground. So let's try to do a painting based on this photograph. Now I pour some ink in my water in my color palette. I have red, brown, blue, and white. So let's do the cherry blossoms branches first. To do that, I'm going to have brown and mix with a little bit of ink to mix a darker brown. If you don't have ink, again, you can just use watercolor, uh, black watercolor. So I'm going to dip my brush into the brown that I just mixed and get rid of excess color on a piece of napkin like this. Now my brush is relatively dry 
and I can use the side of the brush to do the branches. You can make a lot of small branches and I'm going to leave a little space for the flowers. Now after I do the branches, I will do the cherry blossoms. Now wash your brushes very clear, very thoroughly because we don't want to have any brown in the flowers. Now I'm going to mix a pink color using red and white. Mix a little water. So I'm going to soak my brush in the pink mixture that I just created and I'm going to have a little bit of red at the tip of the brush. To do the flowers, we're going to use little circle to represent the petals and each flower you can have five to seven petals. So it's basically little dots, one, two, three, four, five. It doesn't have to be perfect circle. You have to do a whole bunch of these flowers. So I'm going to spend some time doing these circles. I just spent 10 minutes doing all these cherry blossoms. And this is what I came up with. So please feel free to take your time and do as many cherry blossoms as you want. It's actually a pretty meditative process. Now, after all the petals is done, we're gonna put some stem. And I just wanna take a closer look at the photograph so that we know what we are painting. So in the middle of the flowers, you see some stemma here coming out. So I'm going to use ink to create little lines here to represent them. And I'm going to do little dots at the end like this. Little line coming out from the middle of the flower. It doesn't have to be very precise. It's just a little suggestions. So I'm gonna do it very quickly. Little lines coming out from the middle of the flowers. And then I'll put dots at the end.
I'm going to do it very quickly. As I said, it's just a little suggestion, so it doesn't have to be very precise. So this is my cherry blossoms in the foreground. Next, I'm going to use brown to paint the bank. So I'm going to mix some brown color, mix some water. Starting from here. ends gradually here. Gonna make it a little longer here. Like this. I just let the bank to dry a little bit. So now I'm going to add some cherry blossoms along the bank. I'm going to mix a lighter pink. I'm going to use more water to add to the pink that I just created. And just do a very light pink here to represent cherry blossoms along the bank. Do the little branches here. Just a little suggestions. Next, I'm going to put the Washington Monument right here. I'm going to use a very light ink tone. You can use gray if you want to. To first outline the monument. Put it right here. I'm going to 
color this a little bit. It's a very simple shape, but you can tell this is the monument. And lastly, I'm going to do the water. I have blue here, so I'm going to mix water with this blue, make a very light blue. I'm gonna mix quite a bit of water into this blue. And then I'm gonna use the side of my brush To do the water just like this. Remember to use the side of the brush when you do the water. And here I'll do a little shadow right here for the monument. So I let the painting dry a little bit. This is the final product.